What's up guys, Jeremy here from LSAPC and in today's video, we are following up on a question that was brought up in one of the comments from an earlier video, which I will link right here. So if you wanna go back and check out the how to use Atomic Hub to buy, sell and trade all things Funko NFTs or NFTs in general, uh, check that video out. And we're gonna get into one of the most common problems that people have when getting into Atomic Hub and starting to sell their NFTs. The dreaded insufficient RAM to list more items. So typically you can only get one or two items listed at a time. When you first sign up for Atomic Hub, we're gonna work through some of those things. So let's get into it. Okay, so here you see we are in the homepage of the Atomic Hub website, and we are gonna to go to our inventory and look down at what we currently have. So now let's say, for example, that we wanna list this Bluto and we go to list on marketplace, we pick the price point, um, we'll go for the lowest price and we're gonna click confirm and what happens? You get this, transaction failed. Transaction failed has insufficient RAM needs and it tells you how much RAM you need versus how much you have. So RAM essentially is uh, the system resource needed to store data on the blockchain. And what you have to do in order to maintain that is if you don't have enough data, you can buy it for wax. So down here, it gives you an option to buy more RAM using your wax that you have in your wallet so that you can create more listings at one time. I think this is highly beneficial to do when you have a dollar or two dollars or whatever left over in your wax account to go ahead and purchase this space so that you can buy more RAM in order to list more products. So what I'm gonna do here is I have a balance total right now of $2.28. And so if I want to list something, uh, I'm going to find what item I wanna list first. So we'll go suggested price highest, because I always like to sell the highest ones first. Um, and we're gonna go with this Epic Olive Oil. We're gonna list her on Marketplace for 29, oops, 98, just underneath the lowest listing. We're going to scroll down here and hit confirm. It's going to give us that same error. And when we're down here, we can enter the wax amount of, let's say, $2, which is six wax. Uh, we'll put in six wax, which is basically the remainder of what I have left in this account. You can do less. You can do one wax. You can do two wax. You can do any number that you want. I'm going to go ahead and do this one. And you just click this buy RAM right here. Once you buy the RAM, it's going to ask you to approve the transaction. Uh, I have approved it. It's going to give us a transaction successful. We can close it. Now we can go back in and list this olive oil, 29.98. It confirm, and this time, <clears throat> excuse me, and this time the transaction is successful and it gives us more space to list more NFTs for sale on Atomic Hub. I think this is important because that $2 investment is going to get me the option to be able to sell this card at $10, this card at $7.66, this card at $5.93, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. This card's $5.49. So in, by spending that $2 in wax, I'm going to be able to list all of these cards and get a potential sale grand totaling of $20 to $25. And so therefore, I think that investment is well worth it. Once those cards sell, the wax will be transferred into your account, and this number here will go back up in value. One other thing I failed to mention is that you have a specified amount of RAM available based on either your account itself or how much extra RAM you have bought. As you sell items, that RAM space opens back up so that you can list more. So if you add so that you can do 10, sell, 10 listings at a time and you sell five of them, you can then list five more without having to buy any additional RAM space. You only have to buy the RAM space the one time to open it up. And then as you sell cards or sell NFTs, you get that space back to be able to post more and more as well. So it only in situations where you have more cards that you wanna post that you've run out of RAM is when you would need to buy RAM or you would just have to wait until something sells in order to create more space. So. Uh, that's the positive side is that that RAM is available to you forever once you've purchased it or 
once you have it initially when you set up the account that ram is always available to you and it will be given back to you after selling any of the listings that you have otherwise you are sitting on one item or two items at a time that you can only sell and so you might have four or five or ten cards that you want to list but it won't let you you have to sell one of those two cards first in order to add another one in time is of the essence because the longer you wait uh, the, the the values change so the value could go up in price or it could go down in price you want to get those items listed as fast as possible so that you can get money back and then therefore either use that money to buy and sell uh, or to buy and trade for the things that you do want or to complete your sets that kind of thing but it gives you the opportunity to get those cards out there in the market faster so that you can get that return quicker uh, waiting one one or two cards at a time to sell could potentially lead you to losing money on other cards that could potentially go down in value uh, in the short term i think in the long term if you're going to hold these nfts that they are going to go up in value but for right now the prices are still fluctuating pretty uh pretty rapidly up and down so i like to get any of the extras that i have sold as quickly as possible so that i can gain that money back to do whatever else i want to do with that with that wax all right guys and that is it for today's video i hope you enjoyed that content i hope that it was helpful if you did enjoy it please like share subscribe turn on notifications and uh, let me know what other questions you might have and we'll throw up a quick video uh, discussing all of those things thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one